Yeah, buddy, Toyota. Wait a minute, I don't own a Toyota. Or do I? I got one of these here RC trucks. I've had it for a while. About the speed control and the radio and all that stuff for it. Haven't really been able to get it to work right. Bought it off of eBay, the truck. I've had it for a little while. It was unpainted and white. I grabbed some brown paint. I did the damage on it, kind of making it go for the, uh, the used off-road type look. Has a functioning winch. I put the bumper on it. Had the factory stock looking bumper. I wanted something a little more aggressive. And then fed this through and tied the line off. So big old gnarly what are these low C rock claw tires on beadlock wheels? 2.2s. This is a Tamiya Hilux. I made the snorkel for it. This is all one piece of plastic that I heated and bent to conform to the body lines and then just sanded down the rough edges. Tapped a couple of holes into it in a couple spots, ran some screws through. You can see up top there I got a little aluminum spacer to kind of help keep it. Made a little box on top. So Yeah, I bought this thing off of eBay several years ago. And uh, bought a radio, bought a speed control, put it all together, soldered everything in, couldn't get it to work right. Then I started looking for the house and just kind of put it off the side. But there's a hobby shop in town. The guy says that uh, he does pretty good with electronic stuff like this. So I'll take it in there and let him tinker with it because I'd like to have this thing up and going. Main reason I'm doing this, I was talking to my brother for quite a while today. I haven't talked to him in a bit. Kevin 92XJ. Go check out his site. Leave a message for him. Tell him he needs to uh, apply at Boeing. But uh, he's got one of those, uh, what are they, the uh, Traxxas, I uh, can't remember what the hell they're called now. They're a stadium style truck. Not Banshee. Jeez, I just ruined the whole video. Crap. Anyway, it's their uh, hot little off-road racer and uh, I went ahead and ordered one off eBay let's see where's that switch there's that switch down here somewhere I know it is there's the battery I gotta secure the battery all right maybe flip it upside down where is it at there it is right there this thing has a pretty cool little feature now let me let me take a step back before I show you that Tamiya Hilux. Those of you that know about this, it's supposed to be a three-speed transmission. Electric steer. It's got a functioning winch, supposedly. It's got a servo in there to control that. And uh, the guy that I bought it from did a little sweet modification. If I can get the switch to go. There we are. Check that out, huh? Now, I haven't charged these batteries since I bought the house, and I've been in here over a year now, almost a year and a half. So, I think that's pretty cool. Put the back bumper on it as well. She, uh, that'll be a pretty sweet little toy once you get her up and going. I had to make a bracket to hang the back bumper because I didn't have any way to attach it so I was going to buy the uh, off-road tool kit too but never did that I really I like the, uh, the realism that some of the guys are doing with their off-road trucks but yeah, it's pretty cool those headlights I don't like how shallow the bed is so I may Sometime down the road, of course you got the shock towers in there that kind of interfere. I was going to say I may try to do a flatbed, but I don't know how I'd get around those shock towers. Unless I lowered the mounts, but that seems like a whole lot of work. 
Looks like you're looking at the real thing under there, doesn't it? Yeah, like I said, I don't like how shallow the bed is, but that's where the battery and everything goes. Maybe someday I'll just try to make a fake tonneau cover for it, just to just to add to the realism. I like the scale aspect of this. But yeah, that's basically how I bought it. I painted it, put the snorkel on, bought the bumpers. I came with the wheels and tires. And uh, yeah, the guy I bought it from says it ran great. I had good times with it. But then I messed around with it, and I don't know if I screwed something up or he sold me a a dud or what. Hopefully not. I also trimmed the uh, fenders a little bit. These tires were rubbing when you'd uh, had set it in the front in the window. Flex it out. And, uh, I still touch a little bit, but I just wanted a little more clearance, so I trimmed them out gently. But, yeah, I think we'll see about getting this thing down to the RC shop sometime and have him take a look at it. See if he can't figure out what I did wrong with it. Because that's a whole nother opportunity for videos right there. This and the I can't even remember the name of it now. The Traxxas. I'm sure my brother would remember. He's got one. They're the fast little uh, two-wheel drive. They got them in four-wheel drive now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's walk through the messy house. I'm gonna do some house cleaning one of these days. And let's see. There's the job I'm trying to get him to apply for. For those of you that. Uh, they also need work if he doesn't. That's uh, the Boeing website. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. That's not what I'm here for. Slash. The Traxxas Slash. Which one did I order? Amazing Amino videos. Over this one. Real exciting. Oh, we got a uh, friend request from YouTube. Got a video from a hunt sick spotter. Receipt for your payments. I got Neo Pure One has subscribed to me. 95 Chevy T Ruck has subscribed to me. Usually, I uh, when I find time, I sneak in there and check out their sites, see if there's uh, something I'd like to subscribe to as well. I won't show you how much I paid for it, although that's the receipt. You can probably read it on the screen anyway. Uh, where's, there it is. There it is. That's the one that I ordered. So, two-wheel drive. The Mark Jenkins edition, 2.4 gigahertz does not have the brushless motors, it has the brushed motor but it's got the big battery and if I really get into this stuff I can uh, swap out the motor and really tear into it it's included the truck, the battery, the overnight wall charger, excuse me, and the radio system recommended accessories, quick charger and the tool kit and the flat battery I may just uh, splurge and get the LiPo batteries for it. I got at least one with that other RC truck. There may be two. If that's the case, I'll be good to go. Yeah, my brother Kevin's got one of these. It says it just screams. I've seen a few videos on them. I've been eyeballing them for a while, so, yeah, bit the bullet. Went ahead and bought it. Never have to worry about channels or frequencies. Just switch it on and drive. 2.4 gigahertz technology. He recommended going with the two-wheel drive. It's easier to uh, get her to 
drift around corners and whatnot. So I wonder. Just thinking here, I got these. Uh, these can call it a blog. Got to turn the sides on this one. Went to my GoPro site, bought some more mounts. Cause I've got that little uh, GoPro camera. It's a monster. But two bags of the mounts, so I can put them on the Jeep and play around. I wonder if I could put that on one of these and go screaming around. Mount it on the uh, the roof or in the bed somewhere. That would be kind of cool. Anyway, we'll wait until it shows up. So, she's uh, ten minute video already. Can't think of anything else to talk about. So, uh, like I said, go to my brother's site. Tell him to apply for the Boeing job. He'll have to leave California, but he's been unemployed for a while. He's gonna watch this video anyway and probably leave a nasty comment. But then him and I can race these things. Instead of just waiting until Christmas, kind of hope it snows and we can take them out in the uh, in mom and dad's front yard. Clear a little snow track. Oh, that'd be cool. Make a little snow track in the gravel driveway. And go tear them up a little bit. Anyway, time to shut the camera off, waiting for dinner to get ready. Got to upload a bunch of videos. I got a bunch of stuff I've taken with this new camera and I haven't uploaded any of them. And then uh, tomorrow I'm going to get up, fix the track bar issue, charge up the GoPro, charge up this thing, and uh, we're going to go take off into the hills for a couple hours. It's supposed to be a really nice day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing all my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to my little brother for trying to help me with my headlight issue. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.